Hi tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are diving into a groundbreaking topic that merges green energy with cutting edge technology. Now imagine providing high speed internet connectivity in rural area using solar power and Wi-Fi 6 technology. Sounds intriguing, right? And don't let tech issues slow you down. You can reach out to us for a free tech consultation and we'll help you troubleshoot and resolve any problems you have. Just send us your questions through the link down in the description box below. So rural areas often have sparse infrastructures, making it a challenge to access essential services like reliable internet. And this lack of connectivity hinders education, business, and communication for millions of people. So how do we bridge this digital divide? So let's start by understanding the core of our solution. Wi-Fi 6, now also known as 802.11ax. This is the latest generation of Wi-Fi technology, and it is designed to handle more devices, provide faster speeds, and reduce latency. But how does it achieve this? So Wi-Fi 6 uses technology like OFDMA, Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple SS, and Multi-User MIMO to manage network traffic more efficiently. This means faster data transfer rates, increased capacity, and improved performance in a dense environments. And for rural areas, this translates to robust and reliable internet access, even with multiple users connected. And comparing Wi-Fi 6 with its predecessors, Wi-Fi 4 and Wi-Fi 5, we see a significant improvement. Wi-Fi 4 offers speed up to 600 megabit per second, and Wi-Fi 5 increased that to 3.5 gigabit per second. But Wi-Fi 6 takes it a step further and supporting speeds up to 9.6 gigabit per second. Plus, it has better range and efficiency, which is crucial for widespread rural deployment. But rolling out Wi-Fi 6 in rural areas isn't without challenges. Infrastructure is often lacking, making it difficult to lay down cables for power and network connectivity. And the terrain can be harsh, with obstacles like trees, uneven ground, and weather conditions can affect equipment reliability. So here's our innovative solution comes in. It involves the solar power Wi-Fi 6 wireless access point and wireless network bridges. Now this setup is designed to bring reliable internet connectivity to rural areas without the need for extensive infrastructure. And the key idea is to use wireless network bridges to extend the network across large distances and to power our Wi-Fi 6 wireless access point with solar energy. This means we can set up internet access point in places where running cables would be impractical or too expensive. Now let's break it down. So first, let's talk about wireless network bridges. Now, these devices are used to extend network connectivity without physical cables, and they create a wireless link between two or more locations, effectively bridging the gap over long distances. So this is crucial in rural areas where laying cables can be costly and challenging. And wireless network bridges operate by establishing a point-to-point -point or a point-to-multipoint connection, providing high speed and reliable data transfer. And this can ensure that even the remote locations can be connected to the main network. And now you may wonder, why solar power? In rural areas, access to a stable power supply can be as challenging as access to the internet itself. So by using solar power, we can ensure that our Wi-Fi 6 access point and network breaches remain operational, even in remote locations. Plus, it is a sustainable and eco-friendly solution. So for the setup, we'll need the recognized Wi-Fi 6 access point, the wireless network breaches, the outdoor PUE switch, and a solar power kit. 
Now, first, to recognize Wi-Fi 6 SS point. These devices are designed to withstand harsh outdoor conditions from extreme temperatures to moisture and dust. And they provide high-speed internet access and are equipped with advanced features to handle multiple devices efficiently, ensure robust connectivity, and making them ideal for railroad deployment where conditions can be unpredictable. So next, we have our wireless bridges. We have one here and one at the other side. These are the backbone of our network extension. They connect different locations wirelessly and providing a seamless link that can cover up to 5 kilometers. And setting up these bridges involves aligning the bridge using a line of sight approach for the best signal. And they are easy to install and offer enhanced features like high data throughput and long-range connectivity, making them perfect for extending network reach in rural areas. So now let's talk about the solar power kits. Our kits include the solar panel, the charge controller, and the battery all in one. And each component plays a crucial role. The solar panel are responsible for converting sunlight into electricity. So you should choose a high efficient panel and mount them correctly to maximize energy capture. The panels should be oriented to receive the most sunlight throughout the day. In the northern hemisphere, this typically means facing south. While in the southern hemisphere, this means facing north. And the tilt angle should match the latitude of your location to maximize the exposure. And the batteries store the electricity generated by our solar panel. And this can ensure that the system has power during nighttime or cloudy days. And it is important to choose a battery with enough capacity to handle several days of power needs. And the solar charge controller regulates the power from the solar panel to the battery, preventing overcharging and ensuring efficient energy use. And this device is important for maintaining the battery health and longevity. So now that we know all the components, next, let's walk through the implementation steps. So step one, installing the solar panel. Make sure you use sturdy mount to withstand wind and other environmental factors. And always choose a high efficient panel. As you can see on the back, we have the solar panel. This is the input connecting to the battery and this is the output coming out here. And we can generate output voltage of 24 volt, 36 volt and 48 volt. Let's turn it on. And now we are setting it to generate 48 volt power to power up our outdoor PoE switch. Now using PoE technology, we can transmit both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. So I have two Ethernet cable here and they're connecting to our SS point and bridge. Now to mount our wireless SS point, you should position it for optimal coverage and considering the terrain and potential obstacle. And also configure the AP to use the appropriate frequency band for your need. And the other Ethernet cable here is connecting to our wireless network bridge. Make sure you align using a line of sight approach to ensure a strong and stable connection. This is the PoE port. Make sure you put it into the right one. This is the button for the pairing. By pressing this button, we can easily pair it with the other bridge. Now let's look at the back. We can see the indicated lights are on. That means it is getting the power. So now this bridge is facing a clear line of sight with our other network bridge. This one is also powered up by the PoE. This is the PoE injector, and we already connect the data port to our router to get internet access. So now we're getting both power and data and transfer it to our other bridge. And lastly, you should conduct an initial connectivity test. You should check for the signal strength, data throughput, 
and device connectivity across the coverage area, and make any necessary adjustment to ensure optimal performance, ensure that all the components are functioning correctly, and that the network covers the desired area effectively. And fine tuning might be needed to address any weak spot. So now let's look at our mobile device. Turn on the Wi Fi. This one here, it is already connecting to our wireless access point. Let's see if we can get internet access by using this solar power. Here we go. As you can see, we are getting the internet with no problem. So there you have it. By integrating solar power with the Wi-Fi 6 technology and wireless network bridges, now we can provide a reliable internet access to rural areas, empowering communities, and bridging the digital divide. Now, if you found this video informative, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more tech insights. And let us know your thoughts in our comment section below. Thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you in the next video.